I've come from Toronto. I'm from Alaska. From Mexico City. I'm originally from Banff. I'm from Iceland. I've always lived in Vancouver. When I grew up, it was a town. You know, we thought of it as sort of a small town, a safe town. Now I've seen it develop into a cosmopolitan city that the world knows about. Aside from that, it's just the mentality of, of a place where a lot of people from all over the world have come together and have shared their experiences. When I came here, it's this question of where do you originally come from? Almost no, no diversity in, in the public of Iceland. And for me, it was a new approach to identity. Really distinct pockets of culture all over the city. And I think as like a storyteller, it's a pretty interesting thing to have access to because it, it's really like you're actually able to step into other worlds. There's a lot of people in this city and that's uh, found its way to being a part of what I'm doing. Of all the cities that I've lived in, Manhattan, uh, Hong Kong, Toronto, uh, even Cairo, I like Vancouver the most. Things that have changed about my art practice by being at Emily Carr uh, are pretty much everything. It's, it's a full transformation of my creative process and thinking in order to get a foundation for the ideas that I'm building. I mean, there's, there's so much that has come out of the experience. Zoiden is the name of the work, which is German for witnesses. And the different people who are here really inform you as to how to bring things to a professional level. I dreamt once that even though we're not related, and even though I'm a boy and you're a girl. When I first I got accepted into Emily Carr, but I was excited because the institution story. had such a big name for me that it was, it was great for me to get in here. Emily Carr is very interdisciplinary, and the moment that I think about an idea or a work or a concept, it is definitely filtered through everything that I have learned here, especially in terms of critical thinking and critical theory. The work I'm putting now in the Concourse Gallery is, is called Sound Orb. Emily Kai has, yeah, it's influencing my work. It also came here because of the theory. My studies are very theory based and it has impact on my way of thinking. And I think it will be shown in my work. It's very energizing to be here and just to see what other people are doing and like to have the uh, the concourse gallery right there in the building so when you come in like every week you just see this new batch of artwork and it's, it's great. This, this place has just been so many different things coming together, all these different people offering different things to me just the right time. Like if, if I was in a different place I'd be making completely different work. Emily Carr has had a huge influence on my practice. It's well known as a place to marry craft and theory. To be a critical thinker has been huge. When ideas are informing your work more and you're coming at it from an academic point of view, whereas maybe before you didn't have as many ideas behind it and you were just working, um, somehow eventually you learn to just let go of it all in your practice and be really present, but all those things are informing you. No, it's whatever you want, Kay. This school has really given me the opportunity to learn how to speak about my work and really articulate what I want to do, what I'm interested in. And I think that that's something, if you, especially if you want to be a filmmaker and not just, you know, someone working on a set, but if you want to actually drive your own films, I think it's a pretty vital thing to have. Like the through line of all the programs is this um, focus on uh, the concept and, and conceptual thinking. The heights that I'm reaching now I never would have thought I could do. This school provides the environment to, to go above and beyond, and I think that that's what people need to do to be successful. 
I think this place has really opened up alleys for me to explore different kind of practices. I'm bursting with energy now and, and I want to make. So that's a very good sign of Emily Carr.